Good afternoon, welcome to Rhino Toolhouse. Today we are gonna to talk about the Clico cell core and we're gonna dive more in particular to how to program this, this cell core. Clico offers the cell core in both right angle and pistol grip forms along with high torque versions of both as well. They report to either a M Pro 200 or an M Pro 400 torque controller. They also operate in standalone mode which is this tool operates by itself and results would have to be downloaded at a later time via the USB dongle. Getting into how to program the actual Clico cell core tool. There is a menu button on the right hand side. I'm going to use the D-pad. I'm going to select right. I'm going to go in the menu. The most important thing as you pick up your cell core tool for the first time is making sure that you're in the right measurement mode. Go down to your ruler, what looks to be a ruler, and you will see three options. Now these are not, are not the only three options available. However, programming via the actual cell core tool, you only have newton meters, inch pounds, and foot pounds available. If you would like other options, you'll have to connect the tool via the USB to the software platform. I'm going to maintain newton meters, and I'm going to go back, which is the left pad, all the way back to the menu button. I will then go to C for configuration. You will notice on here that I will select and deselect what looks to be a power button. What that is doing is, is informing the tool if I'm going to be communicating to a torque controller or if I'm going to be run in fast app, aka standalone mode. If it is grayed out, it will be looking to communicate to a controller. For this purposes only, I will be selecting the orange button, which means I will highlight it and turn the power on, which, as you can see, indicates a pistol grip tool that comes up in the top left-hand corner. This indicates that I am in standalone mode and can be free to program and run this tool by itself. There are three different torque settings or P sets as we would call it in this tool already. But however, if you would like to add one, I will show you how to add one. For simplistic purposes, we are going to scroll down to the open slot of four, select that, then you will have the option of which direction you would like your output drive to rotate, or simply how would you like to fasten, clockwise or counterclockwise. I'm going to maintain clockwise and scroll down. From here, you have two different strategies. I have a torque or I have an angled strategy. So I want to target a torque on this or an angle. I'm going to select angle for demo purposes only. I'm then going to exit with the left D-pad and scroll down to my target. At this point, I can select the right D-pad to increment, excuse me, I can select the right D-pad to increment by 10 or selecting up or increment by a single digit. I am going to go to 360 degrees to 360 degrees for this demonstration. As you can see, holding it down a lot will go very fast. I will then select it with the check mark. I will scroll down and have options for my torque, and I will also have a batch count mode. At a minimum, the batch count mode needs to be selected to one and then I will have an RPM. On the RPMs, I'm going to select something that's a little bit higher and select, okay? If you would like to delete a P-set, if you scroll down past the advanced button, you will see what looks to be a clockwise circle. This is the delete button to delete a channel or a P-set. So I am perfectly happy on my channel four for 360 degrees of rotation. I'm going to back out using the left arrow, back out again. You will notice on the top part of this, I am actually in P-Set 1. To highlight and change to P-Set 4, I will select the down arrow. There is 2, there is 3, and there is 4. Then I will highlight a check mark or press the center button to confirm that I would like the P-Set 4. I'll pull the trigger, I'll run to 360 degrees, and I will perform my angle strategy. Again, if I would like to do reverse, I select the left D-pad, single press allows me to go reverse. I select it again to go back into fasting mode. I pull the trigger 360 degrees and I achieve my final results. Thank you for joining us at Rhino Toolhouse for the cell core programming.